morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Look, and I'm running a little bit behind this morning, but praise the Lord. He's faithful. He's faithful and he's faithful. I'm just grateful. You know, it's been a lot going on. Please keep the Drake family in prayer. Please keep them in prayer as they go through a just an unexpected loss. So please keep them in prayer. Oh, glory to God. Father, you're faithful, Lord. You're faithful. And you know all things. Today's morning medicine. I don't know about y'all, but I'm grateful that the doctor is in the house. Today's medicine comes from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. Today's prescription. How long inexperienced ones will you love ignorance how long inexperienced ones will you love ignorance the king james says how long simple ones will you love simplicity and that gives us a understanding that word simplicity is not saying oh that person's so simple what it is communicating is that person is ignorant in other words it's that simple they should get it but yet they refuse to get it and so I was just meditating this morning how we ourselves everybody is ignorant in their own right and what I mean by that is there are things we all do not know. As a matter of fact, I would even go further to say that there's areas in our lives right now that God wants to show us, but he has to build us up to reveal it unto us. God, God takes baby steps with us. God takes his time with us because you may have problem four, right? You may have four problems, but right now you may only be working at problem two. So you may be ignorant of the problems with three and four. Do you get what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is everybody in itself has ignorance. There's things about ourselves that we really truly don't know is an issue. There's knowledge out there that we are ignorant to. Rather it be um, because we haven't been exposed to that or rather it be it's something that we're not common to. But there's things out there we're forever learning. And so since we're forever learning, there's areas that we're ignorant to. It goes together. But one thing about ignorance that I know that we all have an inherent ignorance Things we have not been exposed to. But what happens when we're exposed to it? What happens when that area is illuminated? It's interesting because we'll continue on saying that even though we've been exposed or illuminated to areas of ignorance in our life, sometimes, often, Many still play the ignorant card. Let me explain what I'm saying. There's areas that we do not know. We are ignorant to. In other words, we haven't been exposed to information. We haven't been exposed to that experience. So we are ignorant to that area. But it seems that even when we are exposed or is illuminated, we sometimes still choose to be ignorant. We still sometimes choose as if we have not been illuminated or we have, but our actions illustrate as if we have not. And I want to, for this morning medicine, bring forth this thought this morning. Are you... Are we obsessed with ignorance? 
Are you obsessed with some areas of ignorance in your life? Areas that you have been illuminated, but you rather stay in a place as if you're still ignorant to it. I want us to meditate on that for a second. The Bible says here in verse 22 of Proverbs chapter one, how long will you inexperienced ones love ignorance? Have we fell in love with our ignorance? Have we fell in love with an area of ignorance? And you know what? It's, it's easy to find ourselves in that place. Because one thing about illumination, there's an expectation that comes with it. And sometimes some of us run from that responsibility. So in order to hide or run from, however you want to phrase it, that account of that responsibility, we rather stay in a place of ignorance. We'd rather have ourselves stay in a place of ignorance rather than deal with the responsibility. So we'd rather play the ignorant card. Because the ignorant card allows me or gives me this comfort that I can play that card and dismiss the responsibility. So I'd rather just play ignorant. Oh, I, oh, I didn't know that. But you did know that. Or even to dodge accountability. You know you knew that, but you disregarded it. So in, uh, in order not to face any consequences, you just continue to play the ignorant card. No accountability. So in that, we develop an obsession with our ignorance. Playing that card becomes a part of us. Because it helps us to stay stagnant in a place that is comfortable to our comforts. We become obsessed with ignorance. Instead of seeking it out, we rather stay in the same place we're in. Because sometimes we're afraid of what that will actually reveal unto us. So we become obsessed with ignorance. Somebody who refuses to grow up. So they become obsessed with ignorance of what it takes to grow up. Now I'm saying, have we become obsessed in areas of our lives with ignorance? How long will you inexperienced ones love ignorance? In Genesis chapter four, with Cain and Abel, and the Bible tells in Genesis chapter 4 that God speaks to Cain and he tells Cain that sin is crouching at his door. And if he just come to him, won't he be loved? Won't he be accepted? But yet Cain still chooses to move forward. And then this is the this is the part. The consequences that he reap, he acts as if he didn't know there was going to be a consequence. He acts as if he was ignorant to what God told him and warned him about. And I think sometimes what impels us to do some of the things we do or continue to do some of the things we do is because we've become obsessed with ignorance. We've learned to ignore the consequences, the warnings, because of our obsession with ignorance. We, we continue to do these things as if, as if there's nothing that comes with that. 
The obsession with ignorance has us ignore the reality of the things we're facing or will face. So we stay in this place of ignorance or we stay in this place of darkness. Even though the availability to see is there. I don't, I, I'm just, I want us to really think about this because this thing really hits a little deep because I'm just asking myself, what areas have I become obsessed with ignorance? Areas that I refuse to mature the way that God is calling me mature. Things that God is calling me to do, but I continue to play ignorant. Oh man, you know, I'm just not ready for that. Oh man, I, I, I'm not smart enough for that. And sometimes these are the lines we use to show our ignorance obsession. Because you'll never be ready. You haven't been ready for years. And it's never been about you being ready. It's been about you stepping out in faith, but yet you're playing or you are obsessed with this ignorance that, that in itself you think that buys you more time. I would even say that's actually running out our time because the obsession of ignorance blinds us to the reality of what God is trying to show us. And if God is trying to show us, that's pivotal to our life. So ignorance is the weapon against us, not for us. It didn't work out for Cain. And I'm even looking at it in a book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 15, with King Saul, when God warned King Saul. Matter of fact, let's go even before that. When God warned Israel not to follow the other people in, and put a king over them. They came to God and complained that they want to be like the other nations and have a king. And God told them, you really disrespect me because I'm your king. And if you follow the other nations and put a king over you, that king will enslave you. That king will bring all types of persecution and trouble to in your lives. They will enslave your children. They will do all types of things. What do the Israelites do? They say, you know what, no, we good. Ignorance obsession. They've been illuminated, but yet they choose to continue on in their ignorance. And then when they receive the king, they start praying to God and complaining about the king. The obsession of ignorance has us blinded to reality of what God, we know God has been showing us. But some, somehow we act like if it's new, it's not new. The problem is our obsession with this ignorance and we have become to this place where we love to stay in a place of ignorance. We love to stay in this place to act as if we don't know, but yet we do know. See, if I phrase it and I say, man, you love your darkness. Man, people probably rebuke me. Man, y'all rebuke you in it because I don't know when we say the darkness or we call that thing out, we don't want to face it. But yet, ignorance makes it sound a little bit easier to deal with. Man, yeah, I'm just ignorant in that area, man. It's just an area I don't know. It's an area I'm inexperienced in, man. You see how that kind of dresses it up. It makes it easier, more fitting and accepting in our hearts. But yet, the reality of it is, that's really your vice. And that obsession with ignorance is the very thing that's hindering us and it's not pushing us forward. So I, for our morning medicine, are you obsessed with ignorance? What's up with this ignorance obsession? The reality of what God is showing, but yet we've learned to ignore it. And not only learn to ignore it, we actually love it because that's what we continue to do. Is not helping us. It's actually hurting us. Let's break this obsession with ignorance. Let's just stop being ignorant about that. God bless you all. Stay encouraged. Hey.
Stop being ignorant. You are you obsessed and you now use that and continue to use that as a card that you play often. No, it's time to walk in what you know. It's time to walk in what God is showing. It's time to walk by faith and stop walking by sight. You know better. So it's time to do better. God bless you all.